everybody, I'm Steph, and today I got my second favorite game of all time, Fields of Arl. What a fantastic game! I love it. I love it. So much love. Uh, I will not be playing with the expansion today because I'm not... I like the expansion. I just think it adds, like, way too much stuff. Um, and it's already... There's already so much amazingness inside the base game that I don't really think... The expansion is necessary, um, unless you play it, like, a hundred times. So, uh, I'm going to play the solo game, uh, today, and I, you know, will do my best to explain what's going on and everything as we, as we go. So, let's take a look. Alright, so we got, we got the board. This, this board is, like, really, really large. Um, I got my farm, it's my field. I got my, my carriage house. This is where I keep my vehicles. These are my destinations where I want to go travel and deliver things. Um, I start the game with four wood, four clay, three peat. Uh, some extra stuff that I can claim along the way. The game is played over nine seasons each season. We'll just keep going like this. Boop, boop, boop. Or each year, we'll just go like this. And so, uh, nine years, two seasons each year. We get the summer, or the spring, and the winter. And um, each season that we're in, you can only take the actions available in that season. So, you got winter actions over here, summer actions over here. And you can kind of guess what's going to happen in between. Uh, you're, you know, you're more likely to get animals and things and stuff, you know, as you would in spring. You get a lot more stuff. In the winter, you're going to be turning that stuff into other things, you know, as you do. <laughs> she tilts the camera doesn't notice it. Did I tilt the camera? What? I did not even touch the camera. Um, the left leaning game. Yeah. that better? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. Alright, so, yeah. <laughs> Fields of Arl. So, I will be using my workers. I got four workers to take these different actions. And then we'll go into the winter. And you, we have an upkeep during the spring. We have an upkeep during the winter. And all that happens, and then we go back to here. Yay! Internal heckler. Yeah, basically. That's what's gonna happen. Alright, so. What do I want to do? Okay, so there's a lot of opportunities in this game to do all sorts of things. Um... We can expand the fields, get more fields. We can get lots and lots of animals. So what's interesting about this Uva Rosenberg game is if you have four horses, they will produce two horses, not every two. So most of his games, no matter how many sheep you have, if you have eight sheep, you're not going to get four baby sheep. But in this game, yeah, you will. Provided if you have space, you will get that many extra babies. For every two that you have of something, you will get one more during the breeding phase, uh, during the winter step. So, I just want to make sure features on my home board. We got, we got those dikes right there. Yep. Loading vehicles. I need to have a vehicle in order to load, but that's how I can, I can ship things to, you know, improve them. Or I can ship goods to, you know, make them coats. Or I can ship to Lear and get lots of food. And that will help build my road over here. There's a lot of really cool things going on. And, um, so I just, yeah. You can do it at any time to get the rewards of, shipping however your once your wagon is full up you are going to have to like 
you can't do it more than once in the season. So just want to make sure action spaces. I know all those. End of the game. A winner. Yep. This one. So do. It's been too long. I've played last played this in April 2019. So it's been quite a while. And unfortunately, I think I have it all, but I'm not. I just don't want to miss any little detail. There is a couple tiles. So what's cool about this game is that it's not all set like Caverna. You're going to be randomizing some of them. So it's not always going to be the same set of stuff. Though these six tiles always will be the same. These will change up here. Those will change right here. They have the different backs. So you shuffle up based on the color of the back. And then you're going to put them out randomly. And that's how that works. Um, is that what I want to... Red has taken a special action. So we don't have any special actions because that is a strictly two-player thing. So, all right. What do I want to do? I definitely want to get a vehicle because vehicles are amazing. So a lot of these spaces will have a cost at the top that you will need in order to build uh, the building. Now you're also going to need to have space on your field in order to do that. So you might need to push up a dike. So that's a different action to move these along to open up more spaces um, on your board. Right now there's two empty spaces that I can do. I want to try and clear peat from my farm because those are negative points. I need to first flip over these these tiles here in order to do it. Um, so that being said, how can I get a vehicle? These vehicles cost a lot, like four wood and two horses. So I have one horse right now. I could I could get one of these carriages. It's five wood and one horse. That could be good. On the back side, if I wanted to upgrade it instead, I could spend seven wood and one horse. And that would give me an extra space for shipping things later. That seems really good. So if you notice my carriage house, I have four spaces for smaller things. And then I have three spaces for the bigger carriages. Or this is a interchangeable space. It can be either a big carriage or one smaller one. What did Pete do? Yeah, I know it's why I don't read rules on stream, but I don't want to do anything wrong and it's been a very long time. So I just wanted to make sure. Um, all right, so these are the tools. If I increase my tools, then I get better bonuses depending on the actions I'm doing. Um, if you notice some of these spaces are a darker shade, then it directly relates to this, the tool that's being used directly next to it. So the lighter spaces is just a free for all space versus uh, the darker spaces. So the workbench is, uh, is how you advance your tools up. So by advancing my workbench, I will be able to advance my tools and maybe that is something I want to do. Everything sounds really good. Let's just say that. I think the first thing I need to do is get a horse. I'm going to get a horse. Um, and I flip that over. So that will populate with peat so I can cut some peat. All right, and so by doing that, now I can actually get a, a vehicle that matters. Um, over here at the end of this phase, I'm going to owe three food and two peat. So I at least have that. This is how I keep track of the resources I have. So I have five food right now. I have four wool, I have three flax, I have two fur. And I have one grain. Um, the track only goes up to 15, so I can have up to 30 food. That's why I have two food markers. Oh my god, I totally forget everything about this game. So I'm going to do terribly. I know getting forests are really good, so I will spend one food and grab a forest. 
because forests are really good. So with this base, I can either grab um, a forest or a building. So there's that. <laughs> Did you slap a sticker again, Michael? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. All right, so I have four wood and two horses. I should advance my workbenches. I should do that. I really should do that. Um, all right, so by advancing my workbenches, I can do that. And then I get two more advancements. So I could spend one to advance ac the axes. I could spend, I really should spend a wood to advance spades because that will help me cut my peat better. And I will advance my Two wood to advance the weaving loom seems really expensive. Really, really, really expensive. Um, I will be getting wood from my forest. Oh boy. I will just do shovel because shovel is always good. It's flexible, it doesn't get many points, but it's flexible, so I can go there, possibly advance. Yeah, that's probably my best thing. So I have one more guy and I don't have a wagon yet. Two food to get a vehicle. I don't want to spend my horses yet, but I want a vehicle. I could take a little stupid thing. I could take a peat boat. Peat boats are really good because it makes your peat flexible as any resource. So I definitely want a few peat boats by the end, by a couple turns from now. But what do I really need? What do I really need? So at the end of this phase, I'll get food depending on the cows and sheep that I have. I will get a grain for every grain field. I'll get a flax for every flax field. And I'll get a wood for every forest. So, kind of want more forests. Oh, man. Don't remember. All right, but I need, there's so many good things. There's so many good things. You know what, I will move these dikes up. One, two. Um, so that's good, that's good. And I do this. I gain a cow. Whoops. He's so cute, he's my friend. He can go live on the dikes. That's where they live. But if I want a little, like, cow baby, then... <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh my goodness. Moo. No vehicle, as you can see. It's very sad. Don't be like me get a vehicle. All right, so I get one food because I have a cow. Yay! I get one grain. I get one flax. I gain one wood. Not enough. And then I pay three food, womp womp, and two peat. And then we go like Okay. 
So now I can gain a vehicle without the cost of it. At the end of this, I will get to make baby animals. So if it has like, if it has this, if it has this little icon, it says it's at any time. So if I have two horses, I can spend three to gain a horse. If I have two plus horses, I can spend three flax to gain a horse. That's really pretty good. It's the full solo experience. That's true. Before each November. Oh, that, that would have been a really good building to get, like, a minute ago. Because I just did that. Should have looked ahead. Should have planned better. All the things. I need to go to the grocery store. Okay, so how much do does a stall cost? So a stall will cost me two clay and one green. Or I could turn a stall into a stable. I'm not really there yet. So I probably want to get a stall because I do want to get another cow. So two clay and one green will get me a stall. And then I could go I go one cutting. At the end of this, I'm going to need three food. My sheep will give me wool. Eh, I won't have any sheep, so I will do one cutting and I will get a cow. Woohoo! And I will get a wood and a clay. Now I have four wood. need more clay. I could go to the builder's merchant and get two fur and a clay and an upgraded clay, which is really good because I need those for these buildings down here. Two unequal and nine food. Really need food. Really need a wagon. I don't want to spend my horses yet. That's my problem. I could get a little push cart. It's not great. It's just not great. I will owe three food. <laughs> I'm not even watching. I don't know what you're talking about, Pete. Flip a tile. Move the dike up. Nah, it's not great. It's not great at all. I just need to go. If I do that, I could get a horse. Uh, all right, I will do this. Two fur. I really am going to need, I'm going to need clay. I will get the, the brick as well. I need food. So I think I have to go to the baker's oven. Or I can butcher, but I'm not ready to butcher anybody yet. Nope, nope, nope. I should. <laughs> I should get a vehicle. I keep talking about it. But nope. This is me going to the oven. I have to spend a grain and a peat. And I get six food. That puts me at eight. So that will survive me right now. 
Okay, so we are at end of winter. I get baby, baby cow, baby horse. I have no sheep making me no wool. I owe three food. Boo. Alright. So then these come back. The board is so open. I don't know. Okay. So now I got like horses up the wazoo. I got to build a vehicle. It cost me two food to build a vehicle. Grar. I gotta do it though. I gotta do it. So it's gonna cost me I don't have five wood, so do I have four wood? I do have four wood. All right, four wood. Two of my lovely lovelies. My horses. Okay. But now I can start shipping things, so that's good. Yeah, I gotta flip that over. I'm also going to get another forest. Forests are really great. I need to cut some peat. Or should I go advance? I don't have like anything, so hold up. I could get wood. I should get a building. I should get a building. I will be getting food from my cows. That's good. I should get a horse. Oh, I gotta, I gotta wait on the workbenches. I just don't have any, any good resources right now. So I will cut five, three, four, five. When it clears, it goes away. Yay! So now I have the space. more stalls i could get another i don't have any green so i cannot get another stall but i can prepare or i can get a building i have so much peat and i do not have a peat boat i need a peat boat peat boats are so cheap it's just one wood but here we are i don't have any wood so i can't even do that i could get a plow the plow is the back of this so it's gonna cost one wood and a cow I do have an extra cow but I don't have a wood so that's not happening what can I ship I could ship a horse and a cow Oh, I could just ship a peat for three. That's really good. I could just do that. I'll plan on doing that. Normally I like to try and get a lot of these things that I can start shipping. Um, 25 food for this fish traps. I could go get a, a sheep and some food. Hey, <laughs> hey Aldi, sorry, I am super focused. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I got so many things. I taught this game to Aldi. I think he liked it. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of brain power. It's just more of a gotta think it through sort of thing. So if I ship for, if I ship my animals, I'll have nine food. I could buy one of these. One of these cow, I could buy, I get a cow, then I get per cow cuttings, three is not great. I could switch, oh, up to three of those. Oh, that's good. Pottery wheel, I am over here at two is not great. Uh, so much to do. My game is like over. And by over, I mean I'm in the third phase, and I'm 
I just got a vehicle, so I still have so much to do. I could get a stall. I can't get a stall. Don't have any grain. I will have grain next time. Hmm. I need to get a plow, which means I need a wood. I need more actions in the round. <laughs> I can just go here, flip over this guy, get my horse, call it a day. <laughs> in the zone. Okay. All right. Done. Oh, no, I got to ship. All right. So moving into November, I'm shipping first. I'm just going to ship this, which is one of my many Pete for three food. One, two, three. All right, so now I have three cows, which is two food. I get a green, I get a flax, and I get two wood because I have two forests. I have to spend three food and two peat. No problem. Psh, I got this. All right, now my guys come back. I haven't bought any buildings. This is, I'm like, go. Your shipping path. Yep. Yep, that's correct. That is correct. Shipping path. Okay, so now I'm going to be making more animal babies, but I can spend them in to get food so I can get this. All right. I definitely need more wood. Like, I definitely need more wood. I could take the easy way out. No, I'm not gonna take the easy way out. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I take a cutting, and then I get a, another horse. A horse. I could get a cow. No, I just gotta get a horse. And I get a wood and a clay. I'm not gonna trip and fall into the oven. I'm just gonna sell him in Uric. It's fine, really, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I need more vehicles. Oh, and or po peat boat. All right, I gotta do, I gotta do that. So, I need wood. It cost me a food, but I get four wood, which is totally needed. All right, now, I got two actions left. I'm going to buy a peat boat for sure with one wood and I can buy a vehicle, which is five wood and one horse. Dang, that was a lot, but it's totally needed. I need that peat boat. Now my peat can be other things. And I got this lovely carriage right there. Poor googly eye horses, that's right. It's a sad day for them. But everybody's gonna be happy because I'm happy. <laughs> now what? I need to upgrade something. I need to flip it over, flip over. Or do I need something else? I do have cows. I have an extra cow. Stall into a stable is two bricks. I do not have two bricks. I could just kill the cow. I know, I know, it's sad. Sad but true. Could kill the cow. I do need stuff and things and stuff. So I'm gonna go to the cattle trader. I get two grain, I get a sheepy, he's so cute. And I'm just going to take a, sure, I'll take a cow. Now I have to figure out what I'm shipping because I got a lot of things that I gotta ship. 
I could chip that. I could chip one of these furs for two food. I could chip two grain for four food. All right, so that's that. I can ship this. Flax gets me two food. This lovely cow gets me five food. All right, so I'm at 16. And what? Do I need? I should, I should do this. I should do it. This is pretty good. I could go for the waterfront house. It's 10 points. It cost me two brick. It's 25 food. It's not undoable. It gets me 10 food back and two pushes with the with the dikes and three up on the fist tracks. So there's like a lot of good things with the waterfront house. I could go for it. So I will ship this uh, clay. It cost me, in order to ship a clay, I need to actually spend a peat. So, but it comes back a brick. All right, so now I get to make babies. I get a baby cow. I get a baby horse. He's so cute. Love them. I love them all. Hey, I do have a sheep, so I actually get a wool. Imagine that. And then I owe three food. One, two, three. All right. My roads have been extended. Go, go travels. Uva really likes flax. Not sure if I've seen a resource in any game by any other designer. That's true. Poor baby horse. He'll be fine. I've got other things to do. All right, halfway through, guys. The game goes right along. Boop, 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 so fast. All right, now what? Now I need to figure out how to get 25 food. So I'm really at 13 food because I was at one down there. So that means I need a lot of food. I can ship, I can ship my, my animals. Okay, so if I ship to Yurik, I can ship a cow and a horse for nine food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's not quite enough, but I need, you know what I need, I'm gonna need to do? I can do that after though. I need to upgrade this thing. All right, so if I go here and flip over this, I could, I could have pushed, I could have shipped that there. I could flip over this. No, no, no. It doesn't make sense. They're both plus one, so it's fine. So if I flip over that using that action there, now I have a space for four, meaning I can do, what can I do? I don't want to kill two more animals, but I could. I could also kill the sheep. Who needs sheep? I don't want to kill a peat boat. I could just use peat. All right, so how about this? I'll go, I'll go cut some more peat because that's five. Boop. Those both clear. Now I have tons of space on my board. Now it's like free for all. Doesn't even matter what I do. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. I want that. All right, so I got a plan, I think. Oh, because buying a building, oh, building, I don't need extra. So I just need three. You know what I'm gonna do? Three peat is three food using my peat boat. One, two, three. I have 25 food now. Building, I will build this water house front right there. And uh, that's gonna cost me 25 food, but then I get 10 back. It cost me two bricks. Ouch, that hurts. But I get the 10 food. I get the two dike pushes like this. And I get to go three up on the fish traps. I have one guy left. I can get a, I can get a bunch of food. Or, or, 
Or... No, I was going to get a plow. So, should I get a plow? Yeah, I'm going to get a plow. Okay, the plow... The plow is going to cost me... Uh, one food. I mean, sorry, one wood, which I have. Cool. And it's going to cost me a horse. Either a horse or a cow. Uh, well, the cow is immediately going to pay off right now. So I guess I have to say goodbye to the horse, which is really sad because I don't want to say goodbye to the horse. Um, but that's okay. Um, so I got a plow. And for every plow that I have, I get either a grain or a flax. So I guess I will just take purple since... It won't really matter in a second. Unfortunately, I'm like one guy short. I'm always like one guy short uh, because I really wanted to build this farmer's inn right now. However, I don't have an extra guy. So what else am I shipping? This one, just to kill that, I guess. Nothing else I can ship. I could ship two animals for nine food, but That's all right. And then I could turn this this clay into into a brick by spending a peat. All right, so then these kind of come out there. They kind of come out there. All right, and now I go through this. I have one sheep, nothing. I have three cows, which is two food. Hey, that's pretty good. And I get one grain two flax. I get two wood because I have two forests. And uh, then I pay three food down to nine. Boo. And two peat down to two peat, which is also not good. <laughs> not good. All right. Glue factory. Okay. So I did all that. I still have, like, one building. It's not great. Don't be me. Okay, so... Oh, the village church is so good. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need stuff and things and stuff. I definitely need a horse, so I'm gonna go here. I get two grain. I guess I get a sheepy. Are you guys there? And I get my horse back. And I could go, I should get a stall. That means I need another, that means I need another clay. So how do I get clay? That's the next question. Okay, the builder's merchant up to. I get the clay that I need, and I guess I get a brick, which is always welcomed in my book. I would like to get another stall. So it's gonna cost me two clay and a grain. So I get a stall. Hey, my sheep can go be happy. Make little sheepy babies in the stall. I need to start turning things around, Steph. So I have to go to the Dyke Warden because I need to start turning over these forests if I ever want. If I ever want them to be like that. So gotta do that. Gotta do it. I had to individually glue all those eyes on, the googly eyes. Okay, so the end of winter. Babies are made. Cow can go live on the dike. So I get a baby cow. Baby cow. I get a baby horse. Baby horse. And I get a baby sheep. Baby sheep. All right. 
Chug, chug, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it along. All right. Did I even ship anything? I don't even think I shipped anything. So I need to figure out what I need to ship. Okay, so if I had an extra... I don't even think I had anything extra to ship. I could ship these two things. Um, I could ship B more for two food. I could ship Dortmund for eight food and get rid of this plow. I don't need the plow anymore. So is there anything else I could ship? How did I mess that up? Don't want to ship my peat boat. I could though. I could. Fine. I'll lose the peat boat too. That gives me five food. Three, four, five. Just so I'm shipping things. It would be stupid not to be shipping anything during this time. So too fast for my own good for getting things. I would have got one wool because you know. bye bye that's true all right so I only get one more winter phase so I really need to make it count all right the first thing I need to do I have so much food though I got a lot of food all right First thing I gotta do is build. I really was looking at this farmer's in, so definitely doing that. I could turn these three things up to three for my forest. Boop, boop, boop. All the forest, all the time. I will flip one over because that's huge. I will. I do have wool. I could do. Need resources, people. Resources. I'm gonna get a sheep. I get so that. So that was like this, like that. Now I get nine. I get six food for this. I get. I get a sheep. Turned it over. There's no more forests. There's only five forests in the game. So now what? I really, really got to advance my stuff, but I don't have any... All right, so I'm not gonna have peat, so I'm going to need to spend wood, which I will get three wood, so that should be fine. I could, it will be fine, it's fine. I'm totally okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can build another thing. I really need to go. Well, I might as well go to the weaving loom and spend two wool to get two of these things. Otherwise, I'm not going to be shipping anything. So that's like not great. Now here's the problem. Should have thought about things. Okay, so now I ship those things. I don't have anything to ship right here. That's okay. All right, so I have four sheep. That's enough for one food. I have four cows. That's enough for two food. I get nothing, nothing, and three wood. And then I owe three food and two peat. I have one peat and one wood, unfortunately. That's too bad. Wow. Over in the winter. I don't 
don't think I'll be getting a 15 building by the end. So let's just say mistakes were made. I don't even think I could turn over all my forest by the end. I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, I could do, if I can do that. Hmm. I'm gonna need peat. Well, I definitely wanna do that. So you can go up here. I flip you over. Um, vehicle. Ah, okay, so I wanted to flip both of these over. Weaving looms. I have a bunch. I could. I'm going to have to go to the tanner. I wish it was up one more. Maybe I can advance it one more first. I don't have a whole lot, but if I, I don't even know if it's worth it, but I can do up to three things. So I can go here for one, for one wood. I can go spades, not that it's great, but it's two points, so that's not bad. And I can go to the ovens. That's one brick. Because nothing takes lumber, which might as well spend that to do that. Okay, so if I did that, that's three things. Then I could go up to the tanner and spend my five fur to get five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, these were supposed to come back. Now I have like no resources. I should probably get more. This is my last time in winter. I should get peat. Oh boy. I have so much food. I need to spend it. Two different resources. I could build per pottery wheel. That's not great. It's not great. Oh, what's this? Six. I'm at six. No. Well, well, well. I just don't know what to do. I could get Pete. I could go to the butcher. Not that I need food, but I could kill some animals. So three, six. I could kill two cows. I have extras. Two cows. So that will be six, seven, eight food. Got all the food. All the food, and I get four for four, moving four. I get points for having all that though. All right, so end of winter, shipping out some things. Got some boots. Sad booger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean it. Now I get babies. Baby what? I get a cow, a sheep, and a horse, baby. Yay. Actually, I I could have had two baby sheep, but I uh, didn't have the stable. So that was my mistake. 
Sorry about that. Okay, and then I get fur. I get the wool from the sheep. I have five sheep. So I get two. Not a lot. That's five sheep. It should be more than just two. Then I owe three. One, two, three. Ouch. All right, last turn. I have no resources. I got nothing and more nothing. So, with that being said, obviously I gotta flip this over. Cause that's what I do. Even though that's probably not the best thing I should do cause I'm not gonna have enough wood. What are my other options right now? I get nothing for that. So that's really bad. If I get that, then I can get, that's actually not bad. I should go try and do that. So I would go up to the grocer. I get a brick. I get uh, a pelt. I get a grain. And then I could go and build this thing here. So this cost me one of these and one of these. And a brick. So I get the textile house right there. And that means I get one of all the basics. I get the basics. One, those, those, those. Those, those, those. That's pretty good. After this, I really needed a peat boat. But I also really need peat, so it's not that great. I still have one of these. I don't think there's any other building I could possibly buy right now. So what will get me the most points is the question. Advancing this up is just one point, but I would also get a sheep. So let me talk a little bit about that. Now, I gotta find a free sheet here. Because right. the animals score a little bit different than most things. All right. Okay, so the animal type that I have the least of is gonna be worth two points each. And then the second most is worth one point each. So right now it's good to have an even number. So getting a cow would be two points. So going here and getting a cow is a total of two and one for pushing that up. That's three points. It's not bad. Is there anything better? That's the question. Um, uh, I do. If I don't have wood, that's really bad. I do have a lumber I could spend. So, I'm going to get one. Yeah, I don't think there's much better than just getting the the cow and I could go to the weaving loom and get two points. Yeah, if there's a way, if I, if I could have boosted those up, that would have been really good too, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about it. So sadly, that's the best play. I can get a cow and I get to push this up. Yay! And then I get to go ship one more time. So these like this, like this. Got some goods at the end there. 
So that's a little bit of points. Okay, so now I get, I have five sheep, so that's two food. I have four cows, so that's two food. Hey, I'm at the top, but it doesn't matter because I don't have any peat to stay at the top. Uh, so then I get one wood, which is good because I'm going to need to spend it in a half a second. I go down three food. Boo. I owe two wood, which is a lumber and a wood. I don't have many solo games to review. That is true. That is true. <laughs> that is very true. Uh, okay. And uh, that's... That's it. Now we add it up. Let's see how I did. <laughs> and again, it's been two years, so don't judge me too harshly. Two years. Okay, step. Clothing, tiles, and building materials. Ten. Fifteen! Oh, man. That's, like, not great. That's, like, not great. All right. Equipment and barn. Six. Travel experience. Nine. Tools. I did better on tools. Okay, so three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Eight! This is a terrible score, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is five. VP on home board. Okay, better. Two, four, ten, twenty, eight. Forty, fifty, fifty-four. Uh, animals. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yikes! This was, whew, this was rough going. One oh nine. Guys, what this is telling me is that I really, really need to play this more. <laughs> the last time I played 135, the time before that was 140. Ouch. 109. Well, I guess at least I broke 100. They say with the solo game that 110 is really, 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 really great. <laughs> so we'll... we'll <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, um, I wanted to flip over all the forests. That didn't happen. I wanted to get a 15 building. The one with the, with the wagon. That didn't happen. I kind of want to play again right now and see if I do better. Uh, yeah, Aldi. The expansion just, like, increases your options to be, like, insane. Like, seriously insane. Like, it, it's... I don't recommend the expansion for anybody just learning the game or anybody who's played under like 10 times. I just don't recommend it. Um, it's just, it's too much. It's, it's, it's a lot. 414. 414. That took me exactly an hour. All right. So. All right. All right. So. That took me exactly an hour. 4.14. I started at 3.14. So, how about that? Um, I'm going to do it again right now. I'm going to play again right now. That's how much I want to play it again. <laughs> this 
Jones. I'm like, I gotta do better than 109. That's ridiculous. <laughs> now it isn't bad, no. Uh, <laughs> I gotta do it again. Uh, the, the Feast for Odin took two hours, basically on the nose. This took an hour on the nose, basically. Uh, it was... It was a memory rejogging, so I had to rejog everything on what's going on, what I'm doing. So now that I like know what I'm doing, I gotta like do it better. <laughs> Michael's like, yeah, you can play again. <laughs> well, one ten is considered outstanding in Hallertau as well, but I'm not sure who they play does with. Um yeah, so I'm, I'm going to play again, and then I'm probably going to make some food and, and call it a night. But I definitely want to play again. So I'll be right back with a second segment of Fields of Arl. 